All right, hey everybody, this is Mike with Mean Mugging and Games, and I'm sitting next to Mr. Joshua Lau from the TCG Card Guys, and uh, this is our uh, RTN winner. So congratulations, Josh. Thank you. Um, do you want to just briefly speak about uh, your deck and what you were playing? Sure. Uh, I took uh, an underdog deck to the tournament today. I took... Uh, Sir Bolton, but I have an altar here. Nice. Sir Fetched, <laughs> Breaker of Dawn, the best bird. Um, so yeah, I played Bolton today. Um, went undefeated today, um, 7-0. And uh, I was playing the uh, combo version of Bolton today. Okay. Uh, with the Centauri Sabres, you know, Lumina Ascension, uh, Courage of Bladehold. Um, my day today was uh, against Dromai and uh, Dorinthia mostly, and I had one game against Kano. Uh, the Dromai matches were uh, f much easier than the uh, Dorinthia matches. The the Dromai matches were very t easy because they didn't really have much disruption, and they are quite a slow deck because they have to make Ash and then they have to turn the ash into dragons, and then the dragons have to attack. And I actually have quite a few uh, six plus power cards, which okay. can break the dragon's attack, which basically ends their turn. So I have yep. Invigorating Light in my sideboard. I have um, Bolting Blade, and I also have Celestial Cataclysm. So that gives me nine poppers. And if Dromai and Prism you know, get more popular, I can also include Command and Conquer as well mm -hmm. to give me a very, very, healthy amount of poppers um but yeah the games against Dramai was basically just um you know blocking out getting my soul charged up a bit uh destroying their dragons whenever possible and trying to prevent them from getting a gigantic board state um yeah and so uh, those games were relatively straightforward the games against Dorinthia were much more complicated because <laughs> they had a they just have more life so you actually have to play the game oh, post combo yeah. when i was playing against dromai generally in most of the games yeah, i as soon as i combo i know that i've basically locked down the game but the Dorinthia can really block very well mm -hmm. and actually a lot of the games i was my deck was getting very very thin but um and Dorinthia is quite tricky to block nowadays, especially with all the unconditional go again. Yep. It, and uh, yeah, it's, all of those games are actually very, very close. Um, Let me, yeah. it, going back into Dramai really quick, you, is there an MVP, MVP card that you would probably say that, that kind of like really just like put it over the top for you? It's really, hard. Um, it's really just the, uh, the poppers just give me so much time in that matchup right because unless they have chromai or the other one that doesn't that allows their dragons not to have phantasm um their turn basically ends if i pop one of their dragons mm -hmm. right so basically jermai is a little too slow and doesn't have enough disruption to really mess with my deck much and they don't block my combo turn particularly well right. given their armor um and just like yeah. alluding back to the fact that you said it's 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 an engine, they have to mm -hmm. they have to get that engine. Yeah, start. that takes uh, several turns, and funnily enough, I can disrupt their game plan, right? Exactly, which is uh, kind of uh, unusual for a combo deck to be disruptive. But mm -hmm. uh, that's the nature of how uh, Phantasm works in this game. Right. Switching back to uh, now, going back to uh, uh, Dorinthia. Mm -hmm. um, so MVP card on Dorinthia, or is it just, uh, just to go wide? There's got to be the fact that literally every card in my deck blocks for three, mm -hmm. and uh, I have defense reactions. Okay. Those are extremely, extremely valuable. Um, Fate for Scene, Sink Below, and Soul Shield all pulled their weight. Um, and yeah, I literally don't have any two blocks in my deck. I'm not running Courageous Steel Hand because that blocks for two. Mm -hmm. I'm not running any potions. I do run potions, but not against Dorinthia, obviously. So um, my deck blocks defensively very, very well. Yep. And with the defense reactions, I can either shut down their big turn or I can mitigate some damage. And I, the main thing is that I'm actually a very, very dedicated warrior player, so 
I actually played Dorinthia more than... You are Mr. Warrior. (laughs) Yeah, they call me Mr. Warrior on here. Uh, So I play a lot of Dorinthia, probably just as much as I played Bolton. So whenever I play against the Dorinthia, I know exactly what they're capable of, which Mm -hmm. is really a lot. That's like half the battle there. If you don't know what Dorinthia can do to you or how she can punish you, then you can get messed up really really bad on some key turns and then just lose from a snowball all right so for example my opponents never got a glistening to hit in a single game because i respected that card and i you know if possible i tried to set a defense reaction into arsenal especially post combo um yeah awesome and so and then uh then the the other uh hero that you combated against was a uh, kano how how that I, I got very very lucky uh <laughs> the that was in the semifinals, and i because i was first seed i got to go first which i think if i got went second i would have lost mm. um so i i got to start with some cards of my soul and i actually he when i went to arsenal on the first turn he kanoed and just left the card on top, which indicated to me that was Eye of Ophidia, which <laughs> it was Eye of Ophidia, so I got lucky there. I took no damage on turn one, because mm-hmm. I had no Arcane Barrier. Um, and then, uh, basically, he found his um, Blazing, uh, not Blazing Aether, the Aether Wildfire combo very, very quickly. Uh, in fact, if he told me after the game, if he, he drew the combo, but he drew a red, mm-hmm. so if that red was a yellow or a blue, I was actually dead. Oh, I was yeah. at 26 health right before I went off on my combo. And yeah, he, he showed me that after the game. So, but my deck comboed on turn three. Mm-hmm. So against uh, heroes with very low armor, I can combo on turn three, especially when I'm keeping my whole hand. Like his first turn, he dealt arcane damage to me and I got to strike back charging a third card in. And then I was ready to go on turn three. So, um, my deck was very, very quick, but his deck actually was very, very close to killing me. Gotcha. Yeah. So I got lucky there. All right. Yeah. Um, Nathan, what was uh, what was the final tallies on heroes that we had for uh, this art team? Five Dromai. Five Dromais. Two Dorinthias. Two Dorinthias. Uh, uh, Icelander. An Icelander, Alexi, a Bravo, a Briar, and a Kano. A Bolton and a Kano. That's Bolton right. Yep. Yep. But over very, very diverse field. No viscerize, no prism. No viscerize. I failed. Oh, there was also a Phi as well. There oh, yeah, there was a Phi. Yep. Yeah, Phi went, uh, yep. what, she went, what, three and one? She got top eight. Yep. Three, top eight, yep. yep. Um, so, hey, Josh, we mm-hmm. thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, playing at Gulf Coast Hobby. Yep. Um, it's a very, uh, it's kind of unique area of where we live at, you know, being in the Gulf Coast. You know, we're playing here in Alabama, and you, you're coming from... Um, a little bit north of Montgomery. A little north of uh, Montgomery. Yep. Uh, we had people from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. We had uh, myself from Florida. Yep. So very people uh, from all over. All over. Uh, a lot of professional teams. Um, uh, uh, you know, TCG card guys are here. The uh, card we, guys. I'm sorry. Kyle will be I'm very, sorry. very <laughs> upset if you the TCG guys. It's like, oh no, the uh, the. <laughs> the first thing is 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 the. So, yeah. uh, myself on yeah. uh, uh, Team Kitchen Fable. Mm-hmm. Um, Jeff Phillips was here from Team Kitchen Fable, and we had a, uh, a bunch of people from uh, Louisiana mm-hmm. that has yep. their professional oh. team. But hey, Joshua Lau, congratulations! Thank you. Um, any uh, parting words? Um, Bolton is very underrated. If you have the reps on him, he will reward you. And we finally got some living legend points for him this RTN season. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks again. Appreciate it. Oh, and uh, if you can, just show your your nice uh, yeah, prize for it there. This is LSS. for winning the RTN. Awesome. A cold foil adult Icelander Stormbrand. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Goes with Sir Fetch It. <laughs> hey, Nathan, you got any parting words? And a box as well from the store. box. Uh, no. We are good here. Everybody, have a good day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace.